What I have here is a Volvo D13 on a BNL 760 chassis, 2019, the model year. The truck was running fine, but suddenly was losing power. Uh, checking your light was on. And the following calls that you can see on the screen, those are the ones that were active. And these faults are, re are referring to a problem with the fuel system, which means that there is a leak on the fuel rail. This is located inside the engine compartment, engine itself, valve cover, you will have to remove the valve cover for that. So today I'm going to show you a little details on how slide to do this job. Keep in mind that this process is going to be very similar to all Volvos from 2018 and up, especially those that have the fuel common rail inside the valve cover, inside the engine. For the older version, this is going to be completely different, so that is going to be a different type of troubleshooting. Uh, troubleshooting is going to tell you to replace a couple things, but most, the most common fail that happens is the fuel regulator. The fuel regulator is right at the end of the fuel rail. But for that, we have to remove the valve cover. So to remove the valve cover is a process that is pretty easy. Um, in this case, Volvos have a lot of room to do that. But we have to remove a couple components here and there, a filter here. And we have to remove a couple bolts that are holding the valve cover itself and everything together so it is just a process that we have to do that's normal you know tear down so we can get to the interior of the valve system and the engine and that is where we are going to find the fuel rail in this case we have the problem right here where we have the pressure regulator this is the pressure regulator and that is the most common cause when we are getting fuel problem issues. In this case, the fuel, pro the fuel regulator, the fuel pressure regulator is not longer on sale on the dealers. You can go to the dealer and they are not going to sell you this piece anymore because they don't do it anymore. I'm going to offer you a kit to eliminate this regulator. This, uh, this kit is going to eliminate the use of this regulator and um, it's a pretty easy process. To remove this freeze, we have to get a 30 millimeter grange and a regular grange doesn't go in the fuel regulator. So we have to make your own, you have to grind a grange or you have to buy a grange and fit exactly on this fuel pressure regulator. I made my own so that way I can actually remove this fuel uh, pressure regulator. And once you are able to get in the fuel regulator, fuel pressure regulator, you can just release the pressure of this uh, thread and everything and it's going to come out pretty easy remember to disconnect the hardness then connects to the fuel pressure regulator and that's pretty much it then we have the kit the kit has different components in it and once you open it you're going to see then it has two plugs it has it has one big plug and it has a small plug with a seal so these are part of the kit that you need to actually block the flow of the fuel because the, the fuel pressure regulator is a return it's a part of the return system so we have to eliminate that so that way we don't um, we don't need it no more so we have to remove the line and then we have to remove the fitting then connects to the head and a tight it you pretty, uh, it's pretty easy you can use the specifications for that or you can calculate the torque then you're going to apply to this specific plug and then the next step is going to be to plug the actual rail and that is going to be the bigger plug it's pretty easy again we're going to insert it screw it in and then tighten it very easy process this is a process that is going to be very common all a bnl d13 engines um volvos from 2018 and up since this problem is very common and all of these volvos came with this system so to eliminate the fuel pressure regulator is going to be the same for all of them including the max mp8 we are also going to replace the fuel injector harness there is two injector harnesses that are divided in the uh, three front injectors and the three uh, rear injectors so we are going to replace those harnesses so that way we have new harnesses and uh, to replace this is kind of easy in this case i remove the, the whole entire um, bracket then holds the harness itself because i was going to replace the valve cover gasket 
but you don't have to remove the, the entire plug if you don't want the entire bracket so you can just leave it there if if you want to since it's not necessary to do it but once you do that you can easily replace the um, injector harness and we are ready for installation and also we are going to replace the fuel pressure uh, the fuel pressure sensor the fuel pressure sensor is pretty easy to replace we're going to be using a 1 116 socket just to remove it it has room to do it with a, with a socket so it's nothing hard these are very easy components to replace and then we put it all together and that is pretty much it this is the way then it's going to look once everything is together and once we know then we already have replaced the fuel pressure regulator with a plug and the fuel pressure sensor and the harness we can put everything back together we can put the valve cover and everything as it was as it is right now everything is back together as you can see so that is a process then um, it's gonna it's gonna take you know some skills it doesn't take a lot of a lot of uh, labor to do it but you wanna, you're gonna need some type of skills to do it and it is, it is something that you have to do inside the engine you have to be careful when you're doing this job too because in the rear area there is a big gap where the gear the crankshaft gear goes and anything can go inside there if something falls in there that's gonna be a big issue so you have to be careful not to let anything go in there and uh, those very very basic precautions that you have to follow when you're doing this job but once you do that the next step is to take your volvo to the volvo dealer so they can upgrade the software because it is not just about to replace the plug the software of the computer has to be upgraded and the only issue with volvo is then they don't allow most of the shops to do this so you have to actually take your truck to Volvo and they have the actual softwares to upgrade the system so that way we don't have no longer a fault related to the fault system the fuel system because now there is no pressure, no pressure regulator and this is controlled by computer and if this um, fuel pressure regulator stays the way it is you want to have a fault code in your dashboard because the computer is actually saying then we have a fault because we have no pressure regulator connected so that is a very basic uh, issue that we're gonna have but for that we have to take the truck to the dealer as i said before and they are going to do it uh to go to do reprogram the system and that's it all you have to say is hey i already replaced the the fuel pressure regulator upgraded with the plugs and they know what to do they will know what to do and that's pretty much it and that completes the process of replacing the fuel pressure regulator on a detorting engine a pretty basic process but it requires some type of skills here and there especially to remove the fuel pressure regulator since the the 30 millimeter grange is not just a regular grange you're gonna need a specific grange or you have to make your own grange to actually make it fit in there but other than that, everything is pretty basic, just to remove and replace. Nothing harder than that. And with that, I have another video for you. I told you before that I want to do more Volvo videos and I'm trying my best to keep on doing more Volvo videos. In the future, I will try to do more so that way you guys can understand more about these trucks and are very complex and very hard to work, specifically these engines, the D13s, the ones that have come inside a six are different because they are just a common engine but the Volvo D13 is a very complex engine because it requires a very special tools to work on especially diagnostic tools to work on and different knowledge to actually work so um, I will try to do more videos about it so that way you guys can understand and get more into details to, uh, to repair to do it yourself when it comes to small problems when it comes to big problems well you can take it always to a shop but uh, with this, I finished the video. And if you have any questions, just comment below. If you know about these trucks as well, you can comment below and leave your experience or anything else Then I forgot to add to this video. You can look for me on Instagram. Look for me, Francisco Maya YouTube. And send your support to the channel by looking at the description of the video where I have this how to do it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and share it with anybody that wants to learn more about these trucks. Thank you.